<laughs> so you notice a little something special about this Gibson Les Paul. Yeah, Ace Fraley, Kiss, you got it. You know what time it is. Time to rock and roll all night, right? What we're gonna do here is a very simplified version of it. This is the easiest version I can come up with for the total beginner. And then if you want, I'll put a link in the description below there with the chapters and you can fast forward to the intermediate or, you know, um, level. So for the be beginner level, we're just going to use the second and third strings. Second string is the seventh fret. That's what I'm going to hammer on to. I'm going to bar across the sixth fret with my first finger there. This is my sixth fret. Okay. Second and third string. Remember, we count the strings this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. The frets count this way. Open or zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're barring six. Barring means pushes, pushing more than one string at a time, right? We go a little hammer on. So bar these two and I'm hammering on to the second string. See? Two hammer-ons and then once without hammering. And then it comes in. This is a power chord. Frets four and six. Four on my sixth low E string. Okay, and six on my fifth string, my A string. It's a power chord, a G sharp power chord, or A flat power chord, however you want to look at it. And then this is the next chord. So it goes from the power chord shape, my root note coming from the fourth fret of the sixth string. And now I'm gonna move down to my, my next set of strings, the five and four strings, slide up, skip a fret, move up to frets um, six and eight. When I'm on the five and four strings, I'm only picking over here the five and four strings. And I'm not trying to pull away from the guitar. I'm letting my pick come to rest gently on the strings under the ones I'm hitting. Okay, so we got, I'm oh, sorry, we got. Now also for the beginner, I wouldn't use my first and third finger. I would have used my first finger and my pinky. And actually that's how I do it. It's getting late at night already. I've been playing since 9.30 this morning. My hands are getting sore. It's been a long, long fretboard day for me. So I like to use my pinky now, give my hand a little bit of a rest. Rather than like this with my third finger squeezing. Now I do like this, pull my pinky and first finger. Yeah, see? Part of the song you can hear it it's very identifiable you know you can hear how the the pitch raises the sound goes up you know up 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 right so you have this it's the e chord well yes yeah you play where i'm playing here a little percussive stuff in there you get her and the drums and those are I you know, want to rock and roll all the night long, right? I can't sing it with the melody or Kiss will copyright claim my video and then Gene Simmons will be making money on this video and uh, I don't want him to. <laughs>
because I'm not going to use his song. That's all. Just showing you how to play the guitar like his song. And if you follow my instructions, you don't need the Ace Fraley signature, you know, Gibson USA Les Paul. Flame Maple Top, three humbuckers. Signature Lightning Bolt inlays. Look at that silver nameplate with his name on it and an Ace of Spades cards on there. Actually, it's Ace of Hearts card. Wow. And then it still says Les Paul on it. It's totally awesome. All right. Beginning again. Just the easy way, right? So I'm just picking the second and third strings. First time is two hammer-ons and then no, ha no hammer. And then three hammer-ons and no hammer. Watch. And then it goes into the chorus. that in the same string right Now the chorus comes in, I wanna rock and roll all night, right? That's how the words go for the chorus. That the chorus is usually the part of a song that repeats over and over again. The verse is where they tell the story. Alright? So watch what happens. Rock and roll all night. It's a little bit of a different pattern now. Same chords but different pattern. Before it was here to here, right? Here to here. And then here to here. Now, bum, 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 I. minutes we're gonna start the intermediate level or the you know um, advanced beginner level however you want to look at that or uh, beginner intermediate you know it's 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 teetering across an intermediate lesson into an intermediate into a uh, you know an upper beginner into a, a, a an intermediate lesson if we use these whole chords now okay so here is our starting point again right now instead of just hammering on the one finger, instead of just two strings and hammering on the one finger, right now I'm going to bar the second, third, and fourth string, and I'm not going to only just hammer on the second string here. Also, I'm going to hammer on the fourth string. Okay, you see right here, one more fret. That's my eighth fret. So listen, without it, with it. So it adds more depth to, to the chord, you know, it's it's more full and actually it's more accurate to what you're hearing on the record, okay, the recording kind of is doing it this way, so the other way is a, is a shortcut and it's a way that people that aren't able to do this way yet, which is very hard, the way I'm going to show you, it's hard to not bump the adjacent strings, in which case if you bump the adjacent strings, the chord sounds like crap, so don't use the crap chord. Use the one you can do for now and work your way up to it. That's how this program goes, you know? All right. So same fret here, six and seven, but instead of just hammering on the one, like I said, now we're going to bar the three, the second, third, and fourth string. And it's okay if you bar the first one by accident. Try to try to just don't push on on that one. Right. I just have my finger pulled out a little bit rather than tucked in. I just let this pull it out a little tiny bit. Listen. 
then if I hit the string by accident, it doesn't make the unwanted note because that note's not in the chord. Okay, watch. It's a, see it? You have to hammer on both. That's what it's called a hammer on, right? Hammer on both strings at once, the second and the fourth string. And now instead of just holding the chord into a power chord. It's a little more advanced than that, okay? The way that you're going to hear on the record, especially on the live versions. And don't forget, there's two guitarists. You have Ace Fraley. He's playing the lead and he's playing rhythm at the same, you know, same time that uh, Paul Stanley, the lead singer, is also playing rhythm guitar. So when I, you know, show a, a song on video, I almost always show multiple guitar parts. And where I can, where one guy would be able to play both parts, I try to do that. I'm often the only guitar player in, in every band I'm in, so it's a different approach. I'm playing rhythm and then switching back and forth, rhythm lead, rhythm lead, rhythm lead, uh, as compared to people who have a set role in a band doing one or the other, right? Now, okay, let's see here. So now the whole chord. Hear it? Four, four. Now we jog this finger, okay? Again, instead of just holding down, the four and the six. Now. That's a very hard stretch to do in between these two fingers. Some advice for those that don't want to use this in a, as an advanced guitar lesson, right? For a Kiss song, nonetheless. We're going to do, and that, and that I'm not saying anything about Ace Fraley, but he doesn't use the most advanced techniques in the business, which is why he, it probably sounds so catchy, okay? And so nothing against those that use hard techniques, but anyway. Now, sorry. Now to get this stretch without having to, to break your finger off here <laughs> or wait many years to be able to do it. The way you start your stretch out, okay, is you abandon this finger on this string. It's easier to stretch between your first finger and your pinky. You can stretch further between these two fingers than you can just between your, your ring finger and your pinky. So you wanna, you wanna brace this, you know, or hold your, your first finger down. And then when you go to do your pinky, you can let your third finger up. See. Sore belly down here at my music store, Island Guitar, the home of the Bone Island Music Crew. No rules here for the for the station. You don't gotta pay money, you don't have to do anything. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. I super appreciate if you drop a comment and get a conversation going with me about something cool like Ace Fraley guitars or if you have a signature guitar, you know, it doesn't have to be a Gibson, whatever. I'd be curious to know what it was. I love to talk guitars when I go on my YouTube channel. I love to talk about not just my own guitars, that gets boring. I really look for some interaction, get to know some people and see what they're slinging around their shoulders. Just so y'all know, this is not my guitar. I don't own this. I've had it for a while. I fixed it up for a friend. Um, it had some damage to it caused by an accident. Of course, it wasn't on purpose. But anyway, uh, my buddy Steve, thank you, Steve, for the... Um, awesome task of uh you know repairing her and then all
also getting to um, keep it for a while and, you know, make videos and take pictures and just all about, just love this guitar, boy. I just love it so much. It's a nice balanced weight. And you got to remember, Ace's guitar in that middle pickup, that was like a flamethrower, not a flamethrower, but a, a smoke, a fog machine. You know, pretty much like a a uh, smoke a smoke uh, bomb going off <laughs> in front of his guitar. It was pretty cool. Check out the video. Type in Ace Frehley's fire guitar or a rocket guitar. He used to shoot missiles out of his guitars, everything. Ace was great, Ace Frehley. And now he's not with Kiss anymore. Now he has his solo stuff. Still just awesome. It's amazing. Really good stuff. Um, all right, I think that's it for this song. There's not much more I have to say about it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, you know what I'm going to say. Drop them in the comments below, and I'll get back at you. Now, being I have the Kiss guitar in my possession, this is important if you would. Please let me know in the comments what songs you'd like me to put on my channel while I'm borrowing my friend's Ace Frehley guitar, USA Gibson guitar. It's really a joy to be able to make the videos with it. Let me know which ones, you know, you're all working on or which ones you'd like to see me put up on, on here. Okay, that would be totally cool. Alrighty. Um, like I said, there's no rules, but I always say this. Pick well. Strum happy. Smile often. Now, get out of here and go practice. Put on my next video. Start strumming along, all right? Rewind this one. And... Get with the program. All right.